Kevin Garthorn here. Today, guys, we are back with some more Pokemon Shield, I think. This is Shield. I'm gonna double check. Yes, this is Shield. Uh, I almost thought we were playing Sword there for a second, but no, this is Pokemon Shield. Hi. Oh, wait. Did I just see now saving up there in the corner? I didn't check. So, like, every single time you leave now. So, yeah, it does save every single time. So, does that mean. Okay, so yeah, you can still save. Alright. So yeah, last time, you guys didn't really miss anything. We got our Pokemon. We caught Rookity. Which, we're going to try and level him up a little bit. And then we also got Score Bunny, Which is always energetic. So yeah. Now we have to go talk to Hop again. Did Grandma, do you have something to say? In the morning, my Pokemon makes... In the morning, my Pokemon wakes me up, and in the evening, I put my Pokemon to bed. I can't imagine a life without Pokemon. If you're looking for the Pokemon Professor, you can usually find her at the lovely home by the lake, enjoying the slow life. Alright. I know that is terrible grandma impression, but... I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Listen, Emerald, I've been thinking... If you're a Pokemon trainer now, you must want to try your hand at the gym challenge, right? The gym challenge. The gym challenge, mate. The annual competition where trainers can battle it out for the right challenge of the champion. But the trick is that you've got to be endorsed if you want to take part. And Lee doesn't seem to think I'm up for that stuff. So I'm thinking I ought to talk to the professor and see if she could help. Gotta take that part too. A proper rival is just the uh, is just the thing every trainer needs to keep growing stronger. After all, keeps you motivated, right? The professor's house is way down at the end of the route too, so let's head down there and give our teams the chance to train up a bit along the way. All right, I already see another Wooloo. Let's go talk to it. Hello. Alright. I really need to stop doing that. Ooh. Shiny thing. You found a revive. Alright. I don't know what a revive does. I think we're good. You're making battle of you, aren't you? Over here, Emerald. You're going to battle you, aren't you? Alright, Emerald. It's time we... Okay. And I'm here to teach you how. <laughs> Wait. Look at Hop's face real quick. Like, half of his face is behind my hat, but I mean, like, still, look. He's like, I just pooped myself. Anyways. And I'm here to teach you how. You'll need to catch Pokemon if you have any hope of filling up that Pokedex. Lee, where'd you come from? Only, only, look at you, little Emerald. You already got some on your own. Your mom gave you those Pokeballs, didn't she? I'll give you some more Pokeballs in return. I'll only ask that you catch plenty of Pokemon. The Pokemon around here seem too easy, seem easy to catch. Almost like they're itching to join some trainer's team, wouldn't you say? Holy cow, that's like 2,000 Poke Dollars. Thank you. You can always just... Go back and return it for a thousand. Who knows? <laughs> Anyways. You put the Pokeballs in your bag. Pokeball pocket. All right. Actually, that's more like 4,000. You'll get 2,000. Yeah. 4,000, 2,000 dollars back. Anyways, I'm not going to do it. All right. The Pokemon on your team will get XP points when you catch Pokemon 2. And of course, they got EXP points from battle, so take on the other trainers to meet along the path to help your Pokemon thrive. You, what your team, will keep on changing and growing as you get stronger together, no doubt. But even I don't know exactly how yet. Show your champion something good, alright? Alright, I'll go and catch a Charizard. Because he's a huge Charizard fan. Or I'm just going to get a Blastoise. Oh, I feel like Charizard's in every single region. Alright. Alright, I'm going to catch loads of Pokemon. The professor will be shocked when she sees... When was the last time you had a girl Pokemon professor? I think that was like Gen 5. <gasps> Ooh, where's that? 
It looks like a fox. And nick it. Alright. Alright, slow rookity. Uh, what does Power Trip do? Quick attack. Alright. Power Trip. Oh, that actually does damage. So it's a dark type as well. Peck. Quick attack. I see Nick only has quick attack from from the looks of it. And you just peck. Holy cow, that did a lot of damage. A critical hit, that, that would explain it. Alright, why not? We'll catch it. We're only at 23 Pokeballs now. One, two, three. We got it. Nice. Gotcha. Nick, it was caught. Nice. So, we have a fox. Oh, wow. Rookity just leveled up like there's nothing. Wow. Score bunny grew to level 8. Score bunny grew to oh, learn quick attack. And, not that bad. Nicket's data will be added to the Pokedex. Dark type, 2 foot. Holy cow. Yeah. That means, like, Nicket's half, no, Nicket's like a third of the height that I am. Wow. Alright, really quickly. Uh, ooh, mystery gift. Sure. Get him Um. I don't know, give me a second. It says, I'm now connected to the internet. Saving, you're now connected to the internet. Searching for gifts. Okay. I guess we got a mail. And that is... Is Meowth okay? It just literally dropped like 50 feet. <laughs> so we got a Meowth. Nice. Meowth's data will be added to the Pokedex. Alright, cool. So we got a cat. Alright, so go check out your party. Alright, cool. So now that we have everything, we can close my door. Nice. So, does that mean he's now in our party? Yeah, he is. Cool. I said I don't want to swap him right now. Um, we're probably going. To, probably should go and heal up Nicket real quick. Now that we just caught him. Oh, we have five potions, so we should be good then. Heal him up. Heal up Rickety. So we paralyze heals and revives. Nice. Is that a little yamper? Aw, oh, he's so cute. I'm not gonna get him though. Uh. Hi. Oh, you're gonna encounter me. I thought I'd just go up and talk to him, but never mind. I'm sorry, buddy, but I don't want to touch you. Even though it looks like an electric type. It's a level 7. Holy cow. It'd be like a big advancement on our team. Two scroll vets. Alright. That looks like a Pokemon trainer. Why is that bird just frozen? Alright, there we go. <laughs> Poor little Rookity just got frozen. Alright. Pokemon. Who should we throw up against it? Swap. There we go. Actually. So something about Meowth. So I think this is supposed to be like something special about Meowth. I don't know. I'm gonna test him out real quick. Look at that little stance. It's common manners for Pokemon trainers to battle when their eyes meet. It's in every single Pokemon game. I always hear that quote. Youngster Jake. Now we start with Jace too. Squirrel Vet. You have a little squirrel? I have a cat. I have no clue why, but okay. Payday slash ground fake out. Slash I think it's actually pretty good, right? Slash, okay, yeah, it does decent. Scroll back. Using tackle. Alright, so that's about 7 damage. Uh, if we can use fake out, give us a chance of attacking twice. But it failed. Alright, scroll back, use tackle. And we're now inside the yellow. Alright. I always keep on forgetting that Meowth always has a very low uh, defense, I think. I know the bugs have super low defense, though. 
Alright. I haven't seen any bug, bug type Pokemon though recently. Alright. Use beat up. That didn't even do that much. Oh wait, okay. That's why it does more than once. Alright. I say, is it really worth to have beat up then? It's, yeah, it's four times. I actually did pretty good. Tail whip. Alright. So if we ever fight any psychic types, we should be pretty good then. Uh, use quick attack. Alright. Tail whip. So I can do anything against me except for lower my defense when you use tackle. You're probably going to knock me out. But besides that, I'm a okay. <laughs> Alright. Can we get a critical hit here? No, it's just four. Alright. Yeah, beat up doesn't do much. Yeah, that. Yeah, I kind of figured it's gonna get one shot. Ah, do we have anything that can, like, knock him out? Get rid of him? Hopefully, this will. Alright, rookity. We got this in the bag, right? Power trip. Alright. Nice. Critical hit. School of it fainted. Nice. Whenever there's a wait. Whenever there's a strong trainer, I always look right at them. Yeah, 360 poker dollars for winning. Thank you. Now we have to go ahead and use a revive because you decided to knock out my little uh, nicket. How could you? We already have the first feint of the match. Why is he holding on to a big mushroom? Wait, why is me have holding on to a big mushroom? Anyways, potions. Do have three of those? Use one on him. Sure, why not? Why is Meowth, wait, let me even figure out what Meowth is holding here, because I feel like Meowth's just sitting there holding a potion. I mean, a, not a potion, a, um, held item, what does he have? Tiny mushroom. Put it back in the bag, thank you. Because you don't need that tiny mushroom. At least you shouldn't. What, what is that? What is this thing? It's like, a toodle. I was going to say, did we just encounter a wild sobble? But, no. What is this? I guess we'll capture it. Why not? Ooh, he flinched. Alright, so that's what I was waiting for. So now we can go and double attack. Fake out again. But it failed. Tackle. Alright. Um, why not? Third Pokeball at it. Don't think we're going to be able to catch it first try, but you know what? We'll try it. Why not? I knew it was going to work first try. Alright, Water Gun. Ooh, so that's a Water Type. I gotta figure it was a Water Type. I didn't think he'd have a Water Type move this early in the game. Turn not send out Rookie D. Mouth is super weak already. <laughs> at least I think so. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I need to check his defense. Water Gun. So yeah. He does have a Water Gun. Alright, cool. Uh, Peck. Why not? That did a pretty good amount of damage. So let's go ahead and throw another Pokeball at it. Even though it's not in yellow. We caught it. Nice. We caught a Choodle. Meowth leveled up. So yeah, his defense is only at an 11. So I guess that's normal. Choodle's data was added to the Pokedex. So yeah, he's water type. He almost, look like, almost looks like he could probably be like a rock in the water. I don't know, just... Looking at it, kind of like gives me like the vibe of like a squirtle, but with like a dwe like a dwebble. I don't know. Two potions. Nice. Let's go and um, heal up our Pokemon actually real quick. Uh, bag. I don't know. Just like something about me is like 
I'm not, I don't feel safe with my Pokemon, unless they're at like a full on 100% health. Eh, me off, you're fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna waste a potion on you, you won't be on my team long, at least I'm not planning on it. Unless you guys want me to. Uh, put you up there. Actually, I wanna try and get, uh, Toodle. Alright, swap him up there. There we go. So I think for sure we're going to keep, we always need a water type. I mean, who wouldn't need a water type? What is that? What type is this dude? What? Why was he yellow? Am I missing something? What? Like, he just ran right on over here and just like disappeared. It's a little naked. Alright. Yeah, cool. So yeah, there's nothing but rookies around here. She, uh, so this one almost looks like, she almost looks like Serena, if you really look at it. Cute and strong together in combination. Like, she almost looks like Shauna. Oh, not Shauna, I'm Serena. From Pokemon X and Y. How ironic is that? We set up Choodle. So it's to me a Choodle versus Choodle battle. Hopefully we have more moves than just Water Gun. We're both level 6. Alright. Oh, I was gonna be like, please come here and use water gun, please come here and use water gun. <laughs> Ooh, I might actually be a little bit more stronger. Actually, I think we're both doing the same thing. Critical hit, maybe? No. Alright. Yeah, I don't see this going anywhere, so I'm just gonna send in Naked. Just trying to get in some experience. Tackle. Alright, that did a little bit more damage than I expected it to. It's only 5 damage though, so it's not that bad. Use quick attack. Alright, tackle. Two hits, that just put us in there. Tackle again? Oh yeah, I forgot. Switched out Nick it. Come on. Alright, come on. Give him into red at least. Nope. F five times. Wow. Alright, looks like we're gonna have to switch out again before it gets bad. Alright. Just a little bit more hang hanging now. Alright, almost there. Rookity's about to level up again and tackle. Shouldn't do that much considering that we're a level higher than him. All it took us down to 18. Ah. Uh, Peck, why not? Because I feel like Peck does a lot more than just, um, if you were here, move was. Yeah, Peck definitely does a lot more damage than the other move. <laughs> wow. Looks like Rookity is just going to take over. We haven't used... Ooh, boom close. All right. We haven't sent out Score Bunny at all this episode. All right. Are we cute and nothing more? It looks like our strength still has ways to go. Gained 504 for women. Thank you. Hey, look at another Pokemon thing. Alright. No, I don't want to take any risks, so... Use this on Nicket, because I feel like Nicket needs it more than anyone on our team. So this guy looks like he's getting ready to fight me. I mean, it literally looks like we just have like a giant brick just sitting on the back of us. Oh, he's like a little um squibet, um sweater on. Youngster Benjamin. All right. Is Benjamin sent out Blip Bug? So there are bug type Pokemon. All right. Water gun. Struggle bug. So yeah. Definitely a water type. Speed, right? No, special attack. Alright. Water gun did actually pretty good. Tackle. Holy cow, that did a lot of damage. Struggle bug. Judel, you're fine, right? Come on, buddy. Definitely work through this. Alright. 
Alright, we're good. Shootle, you got this. Hang in there. Yeah, it might be a little bit more with health now that I think about it. Uh, tackle should do it, right? No! You're choking me. We have first all these times, and then just... How does he get to go... Ah, oh, boy. This is... Dang it. <laughs> Second episode already in. Why did... Wait, now that I think about it, why didn't I just send in Score Bunny at the beginning? Score Bunny can literally just, like, ember the thing and just knock it out, because it's super effective. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't thinking, okay? Chudol could have been alive still. Chudol, I'm so sorry, buddy. Nick it. Uh, Nick it versus... Nick it. Why not? I mean, everyone has the same type of Pokemon in here. First, there's a Chudol. Actually, I don't have the, um... I don't have the bug. I, re I really want the bug. I don't know, I just feel like bug type Pokemon are pretty cool. Quick attack. Alright. So this isn't going to be much of a difference. Ah, uh, beat up. Oh, never mind. It's not very effective. What was I doing? It's a dark type versus dark type. Why use a dark type move on a dark type Pokemon? I'm not thinking today. Four. Alright. Pokemon. Yeah, before this gets any wars, which can I just switch it. Wait. There we go. <laughs> so I take it Rookity is also a dark type. Which I should have been expecting that. I mean if you look at the thing, it, like I said, it looks like the dark version of Flappy Bird. Heck. There we go. Yeah, it did a pretty good amount of damage. Oh, I mean, we are a level higher than it, now that I think about it. <laughs> I mean, it's nice to see that this still kept up with, like, the, um, bird-type Pokemon always being in, like, Route 1, 2. Rookity grew to level 9. So did Score Bunny. Nickit grew to level 7. Meowth grew to level 7. You defeated Youngster Benjamin. Lose to well Pokemon? Lose too many trainers? $420 for that. Thank you. Um, actually, I'm going to heal up because I have a feeling... What does name is going to want to fight me? Tiny Mushroom is very... Alright. Very small. Rare Mushroom. Alright. Battle items. Uh, wait, we don't have a revive? What happened to our revive that we had? Oh, yeah, we already used it. Never mind. So sorry, Judel, but, um, yeah, you're not going to be in for this episode until we go ahead and, you know, figure something out. <laughs> Just more squibbets. More talking. Look, it's the professor. So, have you unraveled all the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon yet? Oh, goodness, no. The whole thing is still full of questions. I'd hoped my grand... I, I'd hoped that my granddaughter would m take over my research, but... Dear me, I'm sorry. I didn't even notice my guests. My name is Magnolia. Sounds like, um, something from, like, the periodic table. Anyways... <laughs> Welcome, young trainers. Now, come, let's head inside. Alright. Time to go. Already inside. All right. Why, hop, dear. I see Wooloo has made some new friends. You must be Emerald. I trust you received the Pokedex from Sonya. I'm sure you'll have a complete in no time. Ahem. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but probably not. <laughs> you must already know about Dynamaxing, right, Emerald? Professor Magnolia has been doing research into the Dynamaxing phenomenon for years and years. 
It takes proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamaxing to the fullest. There you go. There you go again, Leon. Always talking about Pokemon. There are other things that are worth knowing about too, you know. Like, how many different types of tea there are. Hey professor, do us a favor would you? Help me convince Lee he should endorse us for the gym challenge. Oh Leon, why wouldn't you endorse them? Hop and Emerald only just started out as Pokemon trainers. There's still loads. There's still loads they don't know yet. Deary, I thought your dream was to have everyone in the gallery region become strong trainers. Isn't that right? Well, yeah. You're not wrong. That goal is precisely the reason I gave them both Pokemon, in fact. It, it, hop, it looks like you're constipated. Quit it. <laughs> Right then, in that case, how about this? Let's see if the two of you can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. And don't worry, I'll make sure to both your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. <gasps> Choodle, you're not going to be out for the rest of the episode. You're going to be in here. Right, I'll be waiting outside, Emerald. Why did my voice change? That's like the voice for Rose, I think. Magnolia, peri Mrs. Periodic Table, hello. <laughs> now remember, be sure to give it everything you've got. That's the best thing you can do for your Pokemon. For yourself, too. Thank you. I will see you later. Oh, wow, the light just turned on. I'm about to just... There we go. <laughs> I'm about to come over here to the light. And just, like, look at it, but you can't interact with the light. So yeah, I take it over here, and over here, I'm just going in circles, oh wait, I found something inside the pot. A bottle of fresh water. 30 HP. Since when did they lower it? It used to be 50. Ooh, what's back here? It's glowing. Great ball. Ooh. Thank you. I guess they still have the pixelated form in this, it actually looks kind of cool. It's like, bends you back, but at the same time it doesn't. Hurry it up, Emerald! I've got a, I've got, I can't speak to you. You've got to battle me so I can get myself that endorsement. All right, calm down. Fine, are you ready? Hop, whatever I told you, quit doing that. It looks like you're constipated. <laughs> I'm going to become the greatest Pokemon the trainer there is. And to do that, I need that endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. Come at me with everything you have, so we can prove to Lee that we've got what it takes. Of course. I mean, of course, of course I'm gonna win against you. Watch me lose. <laughs> I'd, I'm rather interested in seeing how you two young trainers battle too. Fireball comes flying in, hits group, and knocks him out. It's basically all the battle's gonna go. <laughs> Listen, you two, the reason I am unbeatable is because I learn from every battle I see or take part in. That's how I've gotten to where I am today. So show me something good in this battle. Alright. It's my time for my legend to begin. Alright. Right. Getting all pumped up. So me... Okay, so yeah, Choodle's definitely gonna get a good shot here. Go, Choodle! Alright. You're getting a bit stronger. Me and my team. Okay. Cool. Just continue talk. Just continue talking. Tackle. Alright. Didn't do that much for fine. Only did like 4 damage. We did a lot more than 4 damage. <laughs> Use Tackle. Alright. Actually, it's gonna use a tackle. I've never seen him use tackle yet. Growl. Actually, I think I have. Alright. Tackle. Yeah, he just does like a little jump at him. Alright. 
Alright, in case you guys are still actually watching this video, I say thank you. So, what I'm trying to say is, I'm trying to like set up a schedule for like all my videos. I'm like, this day I'm going to do that video. Have, a, have like a couple of different series going, you know what I mean? Play a different few games. Grookey. Yeah, I definitely switch in on this one. I could all honest I could actually all honestly see Tootle being a starter Pokemon. But I always thought like at first when I first heard about Tootle, I looked at him, I'm like, this could wait. Is it Sobble or Tootle? I always thought it was gonna be like Tootle or something. I don't know why. Ember. Whoosh. Half damage, alright. Well, look at you, seems like yeah, I already yeah. Well, you said this last time. Mr. Constipated Man. <laughs> I really like how they always, like, I really like how they added everything in this time. Alright. Your Pokemon gained some experience points. Score Bunny's level 10. Let's go. Mm. I'm all excited now. <laughs> Nick it grew to level 8. Nice. 25, 9, okay, so, so he still has a pretty low defense. Nick it learned Hoden Claws. Alright. Rookie D. Yeah, it's gonna switch him out and put in Nick it. Why not? Even though he has a low defense, we will be A okay. Just as long as he doesn't use Peck and one shot Nick it, we will be fine. It'll be a close one, but that's exactly my sort of match. You haven't knocked out any of my Pokemon, bud. <laughs> I still have five more to go. Actually, four more, I think. I don't have a full team yet. I never understood that one. Like, whoever uses berries in battle. Quick attack. But that's only level five. We got this. Alright, so that only did about six damage. We'll, we'll be fine. We'll knock him out by then. I'm just like really curious, like, who in the world uses berries anymore? If you do, alright. But the berries don't do much. They only heal like 10 damage like an orange berry. Or they care like paralysis and everything like that. You landed a critical hit on my Pokemon! Yes, I did. Surprising, isn't it? <laughs> alright, level up. Level 10 now, nice. I like your music. Oof. They even added oof into Pokemon now. Great, what's next? T? I'm in England. Uh, anyways, <laughs> oof. Guarded that I lost. But I'd expected it. But I'd expect nothing less from my rival. Made $640 Poke dollars for winning. Alright then. I'll throw him perfect too. Doesn't matter how you throw it. As long as you don't land on its head. Not that bad. The sting of defeat and joy of victory. And I guess going through both is the key to the two of us getting stronger, right? I'm not even doing his voice anymore. <laughs> I forgot to get water from last episode. So my throat's like very like scratchy and everything. Emerald Hop. Well, after seeing a match like that one. I suppose I have little choice but to give you both an endorsement as champion. You can go and just give me the endorsement if you want to, you know. <laughs> you obtained a letter of endorsement. You put the letter of endorsement in your bag's key item's pocket. A letter of recommendation that you'll need in order to participate in the gym challenge. Yes, thanks Lee, I swear I'm not going to... Well, I'm, I'm going to win my way through the gym challenge to reach you. You may both be young still, and plenty rough around the edges, but it was a proper battle. Charizard and I were both feeling the excitement in every last, call, in every last cell of our bodies. Hop, you've, you've always tended to get caught up in things like how you throw a Pokeball out. Things that have nothing to do with real strength. That's what I was trying to tell him. Honestly, I'd be worried about you still obsessing over that sort of nonsense, but it seems you really have grown a bit, little brother. Knew there, brothers. From episode one, I knew it. 
Alright. And I'd like and I'd like to see some more thrilling Pokemon battles out of you two, Emerald. Alright, Emerald. You and me are going to train up against one another to aim for the champion's title. Absolutely. The more we keep battling against one another, the more our Pokemon will grow. Huh? What's that? The shooting star. Spoof. What is it? Emerald, would you look at this? They're, they're wishing stars. Since there are two of them, you should take one yourself. Ironic, there's two of them. Put the wishing star in your, in your bag's key items pocket. What does that even do? A stone found in the Gar Galar region of mysterious powers said that your dreams come true if you find one. With one of these, my Pokemon can Dynamax. They're gonna be massive. Yes. So we get to see Dynamax mouth now. I was wondering what's going on with that. Alright. Just you to pull something like this. They say wishing stars fall down from those who have true wish in their heart, you know. I'll be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever! There. I've, I've said it three times, so surely this will happen. Alright, Miss Pure Art Cable taught to say something. Magnolia. And she gets to say, Don't be silly. Hop. Or tired to say the same exact thing. Those wishing stars are composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. Don't, so don't drop it, is basically what she's telling you. They're, they are one of the most precious resources we have ever, or that we have here in the Galar region. But they won't do anything for you in that state. Give them to me now and I'll have you sorted. Alright. You've done heaps of research on these Dynamax phenomenon, haven't you, Professor? Then please, give Emerald and me the power of Dynamax in our Pokemon. Mr. Constipated over here. <laughs> first, first we got to battle against that mad Pokemon in Slumbering Wield, and now this really feels like we're getting caught up in the adventure of a lifetime. I understand your excitement, young man, but don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. Where did she come from? Holy cow. <laughs> I was not expecting her to be there. Alright. Seems like I came back home, right? In time for all the excitement. Hey. You lot. Why not have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I... I've been totally obsessed with making the latest trendy curries. Ooh, it's like Stephen Curry, like basketball player. Yes, I know, I'm very cringy. Alright, we almost have the black TV screen so everyone starts seeing the game again. No. Okay, there we go. It's morning at last. Wait, we slept there? Alright, cool. And time for our adventure to truly start. Good morning. To you, young challengers. Hop. What? Sonya. Okay, so Sonya's talking. Hop. Is it true you really met some Pokemon you didn't recognize? Is there anything more you can tell me about this? Uh, well, there's this weird heavy fog, and then this even weirder Pokemon appeared. Emerald tried to fight it off, but then I think we both passed out or something. It was all pretty hazy. A right, a right fount of information you are. Emerald, hop, these are for you. We can design a max now. Wait, what Pokemon is that? It looks like just like a normal Blue Jay. We got it. You got a Dynamax band from the Professor Magnolia and slipped it on your wrist. Cool. Those are your... Dynamax bands. I made them by fitting the wishing stars you found last night into those bands. How do you manage to fit a wishing star inside of like a little bracelet? 
What you do with the rest of it? Anyways. Thanks, Professor. This is brilliant. It's just like the one Lee has on him, too. Now we can Dynamax our Pokemon like he does. My word. You don't waste any time, do you? I think you'll find it's not so simple as all that. There are a number of conditions you must meet if you hope to Dynamax your Pokemon. And take it, take on that gigantic form. Now, don't be afraid to go all out sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon. That will help you fill out your Pokedex too. The legend of my brain is finally about to begin. Come on, Emerald. I'll beat you at this. I'll beat you to the station. All right. Bye, periodic table, and bye, Sonya. See ya. All right. <laughs> One last thing before we race, Emerald. See, I've got some great advice from you. It's another Tootle. You know how sometimes you see Pokemon whining about tall grass, yeah? If you move real slow and crouch down, these Pokemon won't pay any attention to your notice. But on the other hand, if you whistle at them, you'll be sure to catch their attention. If you're a bit rubbish at whistling, just remember this. Need, need a fail-proof trick? Press the left stick. Alright, cool. Try it out. Let's see who can catch the most Pokemon, Emerald. Alright. You remember... What? Some type of tower and I can't speak station, right? <laughs> Where we went to go pick up Lee before? That'll be the goal. See you there. They're all after me. <laughs> Run! <laughs> Alright, so I'd like to try and level up Choodle a lot more than we already have. <gasps> it's a little hamper. Okay, no, you're just standing there. I thought it was just like some type of Pokemon you could interact with. I didn't want to like interact with them, but okay. Level 8. It's gonna run from you. Just because I don't feel like fighting you right now. Sorry, hamper, but yeah. Another, um, uh, Nicket. That one, um, I forget what it was, but how do you crouch? Oh gosh, I didn't mean to do that. How do you crouch? No, that's how you do that. There has to be a way that, wait, what do I do? Link trade. Alright. How do you crouch? Do you just, like, do that? I'm not too sure, I'm just gonna run. <laughs> Alright, that works well. Nope, that didn't work too well. I ran into a tootle. Alright. Oh, it's only level 5. He's bite, why not? But that actually did a pretty good amount of damage. Tackle, that shouldn't do that much. Didn't, did 3 damage. Another bite. Holy cow, that did a lot of damage. That should do like one or two damage. It did two damage. Alright. Let's go finish it off with a tackle attack. And one more tackle. Excuse me, sorry about that. One more tackle should finish him off. There we go. That should go ahead and level up Tootle. Right? Did Tootle level up? Yeah, he leveled up. Alright, cool. Tootle is now... Wow. Tootle actually has a pretty good defense. He has 14 for defense now. And he also only has a defense of 13 and a really low attack. I mean, he's pretty good on HP, though. Now, if I still going to scratch, sure. Forget about... Wait, what does Pay do? Payday do? Oh, it does... Okay, so it actually does damage. Rao doesn't do anything. Fake out barely ever works. So let's go and get rid of Growl. <laughs> One, two, and ta da! Why didn't we go to three? Alright. 
He learned Scratch instead. Trying to run on through here without getting attacked by Pokemon. Yamper, I'm fine. I don't need your help right now. Thank you. Wedgehurst again. So we're back in town. There's another Trudle. Oh, wow. What are you waiting to? No, I, I'm so, sorry, Trudle. I don't want to talk to you, but what are you waiting to? I saw Hop sneaking off towards the station. Oh, okay. So you're just waiting to him. Alright. I'm just going to run on down here. Go on, Emerald. You'll never beat me to the station with that piece. Uh, that pace, not that piece. Alright. You might be able to beat me to the station. But you'll never be able to beat me in battle. I'm going to go heal up my Pokemon. Good morning. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? I'll take that Pokemon for a few seconds then. Alright. Thanks for waiting. There we go. Alright. I want to check something real quick for Pokemon. So, I'm going to switch. Where is it? Yeah, swap him up here. Wait, where's that thing? VS. Alright. Oh, I like that now. Actually, like, it's like, hey, you should probably check. Yeah, you should probably make your way back to the train station, which is. I like that. It's like, it's like a little task thing that you can go and do. Here's Mr. Machoke again. <laughs> Mr. Machoke, if you're that human. Alright. Zoot out with it, Emerald. How many did you catch? I got a really special one. And you got... Not one? What were you doing this whole time? You're not gonna want a team if you're a trainer. Swift. Alright, cool. I got Swift. I'm gonna teach that probably to Meowth. That's a technical machine. I know what TM is. Blah, blah, blah. Gym challenge with Monostoke. See, even it sounds like my choke, so it's probably like a fighting gym or something. No, train's waiting, so let's go. I'm back. Sorry about that. Oh, there's a whistle. <laughs> Hop small. Not quite so fast, you two. Oh, there's our mom, too. What are you doing here, mom? I knew this day was coming since the moment I cho since you chose Grookey as your partner, darling. Professor Magnolia, also known as Mrs. Periodic Table, was kind enough was kind enough to let us know that you or that you two were setting out. So here, a little gift to see you well sitting on your way. All. A kit you'll need for camping. Nice. Set of camping gear. You put your set of camping gear in your bag's key items pocket. Nice. No matter what happens out there, if you and your partner are together, you'll be, I know you'll be fine. Thanks, Mom. And just how lucky you are. M mother to first ever pair of champion brothers. Because I'm certain to be the champion next. You'll see. Of course, you will be, darling. Anyway, I have to... I have to... Wait. Anyway, do have fun and take care of yourselves. I could not speak. You'll be welcome back home anytime. We'll be fine. Wish us luck. Not that we'll need it. Wow, Hop. <laughs> Believe me, you will need the luck. <laughs> there are loads of brilliant trainers out there. Just waiting for us. My excitement's running ahead of me even faster than that train can go, Emerald. Come on, we're off. Alright. Off we go. Hello. Alright, we're here. On to the train. Motosoak is surrounded by a vast wild area. Just wondering about it. Oh, Panchams! Nice, everywhere you look. 
Plus, you can camp out on a spot of fishing. I don't think I could ever get tired of it. Well, we are here. Hey, Mr. Station Master. Isn't this the wild area? What are we stopped here for? Yes, this is the wild area station. Make no mistake. I'm sorry to tell you that the train is halted due to a flock of Vulu on the tracks. What's there to be sorry about? This is brilliant. Brilliant? The wild area is massive. There are loads of Pokemon to battle here. You get it, don't you, Emerald? This is where the best possible place to put together the greatest team. Well, see you guys later. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below if you guys are enjoying the series. Alright, just want to make sure that wasn't just me seeing Lulu down the tracks. Anyways, hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye.